welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Carrying on from the last episode on the uh, Triumph project. I've now turned the bike round. Unfortunately I've filled the bench up with a bit of stuff that I've actually taken off. I've removed the chain guard and the actual stop switch. My brake lever. So we can actually get all these parts in place. Get the other footrest in and the footrest hanger. The other thing I need to do obviously is get the chain on or get the chain in position because obviously once I start putting all this back on it's difficult to actually get the chain out so we're going to put the chain on first. I'll show you where I'm at with the primary as I say as we left it in the last episode I just had to feed the wire from the alternator generator through the casing and screw that tube into the casing that's now done so I've pulled the wires out the wires are actually hanging from underneath so I can get to those I've actually now adjusted the clutch center nut and I've tightened up the bolts on the alternator rear generator so that's now all tight I've also tightened up the tensioner unit for the actual primary chain so as I can say we'll get another load done today see if we can get the chain on I might just put the primary case on loose but then again I might have to put that on and have a look because the foot bracket may go through part of the actual casing but we'll, we'll have a look at that in a second so let's crack on actually I don't think it does these are the two screws that actually go through the primary and it's these two bolts holes that I need for the actual footrest bracket so that's good so I can leave that off yeah I've adjusted this I may need some more adjustment on these and that was the pipe that I've screwed in that's now tight I'm tighten these up as well Also going back to the last episode with the speedo cable, I have now rerouted it. I had to take the footrest bracket off and feed it through. It actually it's the same on this side. I had to feed it over. It was coming round to this side, so I had to feed it over on the opposite side. So that's now done. Alright, so the first job is gonna be actually the chain. Getting that round. A sprocket behind and feeding that through. the chain through that took a while so there isn't a great deal of space in there And 
that's the chain. So that's the split link in place. That's another job out of the way. Right, so the next one is trying to get the engine plate footrest and the brake lever, and then we'll have a look at the mechanism. See, this is the main rod. So that square connects through bracket goes through and then obviously footrest in position. Then we can look at getting the I need to give the chain guard a clean, but we look at getting that on. And then we can reattach the actual rear brake switch. So we've got a spring that goes from the lever, uh, from the rod to the actual switch. So we'll leave that together. They're the actual nuts that came off. That's the rubber cap that covers that bolt. So let's get this bracket and the uh, brake rod all in place. All right, so there's the bolt holes I've got to line up with. So I've got the rear brake lever that fits through there. rod that will come in from the back and the footrest itself which will come in there. Well I've actually had to transfer this to this to the bench to actually get this in the right place. Literally, they kind of interconnecting. All right, so there. Right, that is actually now making sense. So the actual thread on the end is the stopper. So now I can take all of that and hopefully put it in position. Right, obviously Tightening up the nut on the back first. All right, so that should slide through. Nope, that hasn't gone right. That's better. So now the rod going through to the end. And I've just got them parts to put in. Right, so lining these up to get the bolts in place. I've got one there and one there. And they 
as usual, no room. Right, and all I've got left now is one bolt that seems to be missing. Right, let me have a look for that bolt and then we'll sort that end out. Right, for now I've just loosely put the chain guard in position. Just want to see how things line up. That's where the switch goes and the spring. Still got lovely wiring to deal with. I need to find also the actual lead that goes through that tube. I don't know if you can see it coming out under here. I need to find where they connect to. Possibly. These were hanging loose. Why? Mm, good question. Yeah, so I need to find out where these leads actually connect to. But please, we've actually got rear brake working. That's nicely installed, chain in, which is good. I just want to see if I can actually get the primary cover on. I'll probably just loose fit for now. All right, let's bring that out. Oh, is that not going to fit? Is it the case of you have to fit it first before you put the plates on? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, because obviously these two these two will go on through here. But yeah, it seems that my thoughts are correct. Oh no. You can do it. Yep, I should be able to get that in. Right, just possible, but you have to unloosen the nuts that I've just tightened up. So at the moment, I've just put one screw in place. Just to give me an idea. So that cover I'm leaving it there is no gasket under it it's only got one screw and one nut holding it because I may have to adjust the clutch so I want to see how that goes I know I can use that to actually adjust the actual center but I just want to make sure that I've actually got the actual three springs tightened up properly but no nice to see that cover on 
I say chain guards just loose for now. Took a bit of working out on this, really didn't uh, make sense to start with, but working perfectly now. Loose chain, that needs tightening. Brakes seem to be working okay, which is good. So there's another few bits ticked off the list. Again, barely anything. Obviously that's the, as we said earlier, the brake switch, the screw to hold it in place, the cap, the two nuts to hold the brake switch in, spring, so that can go back on later. Maybe next episode we'll start having a go at see if we can actually make one of these. And we can get that fitted and get the airbox fitted. But no, overall, please, took longer than I thought just to get them few bits in, but it's getting there slowly. I say, all the cases, yes, they're going to be cleaned while, in, while on the bike. At the moment, it's just piecing it together. So the train guard I need to take out to give that a clean. So that's why it's just loose fit. But I'm no, happy with that. I think that's where we'll leave it for now. Right, so there's more jobs done. More jobs ticked off the list. Literally, that is all that's left. A few bags, tank rubbers, a few ties for the actual cabling. Obviously, the hooks I took off the seat the brake switch and the fuel pipe which we're going to make up probably in the next episode we'll get that done but other than that yeah just a, a small array of odd nuts bolts and screws and washers so a lot's gone on in a lot's gone on to it but it is just working through that, that foot plate or engine plate wasn't as easy as I thought with trying to get the brake in the right place with the footrest in the right place. At one stage I had the footrest in, but the actual brake was in the wrong place. So yeah, yeah, it was, that's why I took it out and put it on the bench and did it here instead. It was a lot easier. And then it was remembering that obviously as you install it, install the rod at the end for the brake lever. <laughs> so slide that in first, then bring it back, then put the actual bracket in place and bolt that in. And obviously another lesson learned is that the primary case really doesn't go into position unless you slacken off the engine bracket or you take it off completely, which is another a learning one. But no, overall really pleased with how it's gone. It's it's ticking along, it's it's wiring is still to come. That that'll be near the end. So I need to have a look through where these wires exactly go, which ones go to the alternator. But as I say, we'll, we'll cover that in the next episode. As usual, comments in the comments box below. Always appreciate your feedback in your comments. Links to my Facebook page, also in the description. Pop across there, say hi. More the merrier, page is growing daily. Link to my merchandise site, also in the description if you want to cop some merch. So I pop across there, have a look, have a look see what you think. As always, big, big thank you to my patrons. The help and support you give me is absolutely phenomenal, so big thumbs up to my patrons. There are links to other videos at the end of the video. As always, appreciate you watching. Join me again next time. Cheers. Bye.